minute, 40 seconds, flat. The only way that you would leave a jail cell is when we take you out to execute you. Well, we'll see about that. With President Roosevelt's support, I am declaring United States of America's first war on crime. Your task would be to get John Dillinger. Are you up to that task at your purpose? Absolutely, sir. I buy you a drink. What is it exactly you do for a living? John Dillinger, I'm dying. Let's go to Chicago and make some money. Woo! fine. Every time I read about one of your bank jobs, when you give the customers back their money, you have to crack me up. The whole country thinks you're a goddamn hero. Who gives a damn with the public money? I do. Where are you going? Anywhere I want. I'm going to take you with me. All of it now! We're having too good a time today. We ain't thinking about tomorrow. Water. John Dillinger. Dead? Not dead. <laughs> we're too good for him. That's why we're on top of the moon. I ain't going nowhere. He's out there. It could be anywhere. But he's not anywhere because what he wants is right here. Don't come to Chicago, Johnny. I promise I'd look after you, didn't I? Well, then that's what I'm going to do. Pick up all known Dillinger associates. Doctors, family. Where are they? I want to know where they are. I don't know. Where is he? Sooner or later, she will go to him or he is going to come for her. (laughs) 